फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडियन टेबल टेनिस फेडरेशन एंड हाउ इट कैन बी इम्प्रूव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव टू से दैट आई कैन सी अ ग्रेट ग्रेट पोटेंशियल इन इंडिया यू हैव मेनी प्लेयर्स इवन इफ द स्पोर्ट इज सेल्फ इज नॉट दैट बिग इंडिया इज अ बिग कंट्री इंडिया इज अ ह्यूज कंट्री द स्पोर्ट इट सेल्फ नॉट ओनली टेबल टेनिस बट स्पोर्ट the importance of sport is growing in india i what i've seen now the last 7 8 years is something very very positive they are coming up uh, private sport schools where you combine studies and sport so in in that way it looks very good if you go just into table tennis i think what india needs is a very very strong and good system players are there players are eager to learn players are, re- are ready to work but because of this uh, uh history of sport and history of table tennis is not that long so what india is lacking is a system and knowledge definitely yes and for their potential and why they are not delivering in olympic sports uh no we are coming back to what i said mm-hmm. uh potential is there potential is huge this is something positive but this potential is only coming out if you have a system if you have knowledge in the country and if the daily work is done with very very high quality and this daily work is not done with very high quality today so what india needs to do is when you get them up young talent player you need to send them abroad at the same time there has to be a process in india where you improve the system you educate the trainer yeah. and step by step also india will benefit with this uh, large number of players this is your third visit in indoor are you satisfied with the facilities provided by mp table tennis association facilities are very nice we have everything that we need Uh, I've been around to many places in India, and Indoor is one of the best places I've been. Uh, players can stay comfortable, very close to 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 the uh, gym here. We have a big hall. We have potential for 20, 25 uh, tables. So it's very good. Everything is good there. But we are coming down to that the daily work has to be done by the player and the coach, of course, together. with high quality so one part is the facilities very good but there is only this is only one small part of the whole process definitely but is it are of these facilities are up to international standard yeah i mean india is a warm country the weather is always a, a, a challenge here of course if if we can add ac into into the hall of course it can improve the hall even more yeah if we can have a fit in the room with fitness machines of course it will add value to to the facilities so wherever you are whether it's in india sweden china there are always things that can be improved after training do you think that the indian players are capable to compete with the china and japanese player Uh, what i've seen in india is uh, like i said something good something very good at the same time i have seen a uh, lack of patience players coaches parents need to understand that they need to be more patient yeah? uh, it takes long time to to become a champion it takes long time for for india to to get up these world class players but we have to start now this is important when india will have a world class player this i don't know but i'm sure it will come yeah? in 5 years 7 years 10 years i don't know but if the daily work is there with high quality i'm sure we're going to see a different future for india table tennis what is the difference between coaching system of sweden and india in compared to china uh first of all i think we have to see it in a much bigger perspective we have to see 
the status, the position table tennis has in China. Uh, I've been there many times. I spoke to many Chinese. This is a major sport in China. Table tennis is a national sport. So the history the sport has, the number of trainers, the number of coaches, the number of players, and also now the money that is invested into the sport. There is no other country that can compare with China. Yeah? So of course the system is different in China compared to Sweden and India. Because with all these things, they are outstanding. Yeah? But still I believe that other countries can compete with them. Because at the player, the player who's going to make the result is a human being, right? He's no machine. Everything. There are feelings behind. There is a mind behind. Uh, if you challenge the Chinese players and you, you get the mental part into the game, they are humans. They can get, become nervous. They know with all this uh, good things behind themselves, they have also a lot, a lot of pressure on them. They have a lot of expectations on them, which can be converted into tension. So then suddenly you have a negative effect of all these good things. So of course we can challenge them. How about the table tennis world? Dangerous, dangerous in which sense? Means uh, unbeatable or powerful. In today's table tennis or in the it's history? Into table tennis. Uh, first of all, there is no player that is unbeatable. No player. Uh, I also keep on saying to the players that if we want to become champion, we have to be ready also to lose many matches on the way. All players have lost matches. All players have lost uh, matches where they feel really, really disappointed and bad after. For me, there is one player that is a little bit outstanding is the Swedish player Waldner. You know John, John yeah. I I've been playing with him for um, I played with him for about twenty years and every single person that knows something about table tennis admire him. But I would say that if they would have had an opportunity to see and be with him so close that I've been, you would uh, admire him even more. It's fantastic. Outstanding. What is the last question? What is your future plan? Uh, I have an academy in Sweden. Uh, we are working with international players. We have also Indian players. We have Indian players that are playing for our club. But we have also players coming and going. Uh, this is a dream for me to, to help young, eager players to reach somewhere. There, we can do it in my home country, in my home environment, uh, and I can follow them closely. The group is not that big, so it means we, we get a lot of time together. We can share the time, not only when we practice, but also during lunch, we can sit and discuss. So this is one thing. I'm also working very closely with STAG, and I hope to develop this, uh, this work we can do many things. Yeah. And when it comes to STAG, I think the most interesting for me is India itself. Yeah. Of course, I'm traveling around in the world with STAG. But for me to come, it's because of STAG I'm here today in Indoor. It's a STAG Pitykhausen camp. And there I have to give a lot of credit to Vivek Kohli. Very nice man. Owner of STAG. Yes, yes, owner of STAG. Yeah. Uh, he has a passion for the sport and he wants India to reach somewhere. So there you already have, have uh, two, two big things. Working with STAG, helping India table tennis. At the same time, running my academy in Sweden. And also helping international players. So, these are the two big things.